In this video, we're going to show you the best possible equipment that you need for your ball player to get an edge, to get those attributes to where you want it. Right now, we still are on the silver archetype, so we're not completely done with our ball player build. But as you can see right here, just with the silver builds, I'll show you like what I'm working on right now. Just with the silver build, we're almost at over 99 pretty close to 99 attributes for all contact all power vision's pretty good fielding's gonna get there arm strength is gonna get there and speed is gonna get there so i don't even have the base i think the base gets you to 50 so the base attributes gets you to 50 and that's just by playing the game in road to the show but like i said in this video today we're gonna mainly focus on what you should be putting on your your ball player in terms of equipment you're gonna have to spend some stubs if you want what i show you today and then once we finish up our road to the show grind we are gonna go ahead and show you how my build is going to look like i expect it to have max contact and then somewhere around like 123 and 124 power on both sides switch hitter so right now i'm working on a second baseman build so this year it's a little bit different you actually have to pick your position for the ball player that you want in diamond dynasty so i actually started first base and then i didn't realize that until i added him into my diamond dynasty team and i had to add him at first base i don't know if there, i don't know if there's a way around that or if i just did it differently but i had to go ahead and restart the second base build here but i'm actually happy that i restarted because then now i got to focus on what i actually want for my ball player and to make him the best possible ball player and that will be the show 22 so let's go on and take a look at our loadout right here if you're specifically making a second base ball player like i am when they ask you what type of second base ball player you want you actually want to go after the contact so don't pick the power build go with the contact build because that's the one that's going to allow you to get the second baseman right so don't worry you're gonna get a lot of power on this card regardless so my current loadout right now this isn't gonna matter this isn't gonna be the end game loadout for my guy but i'm currently using the slugging spark plug silver mission so you should start with i think it was yeah the slugging spark plug so slugging sp spark plug is what you want to go through is that's what i'm gonna go through and Right now, I'm just using, like, diamond perks, and that's, you know, you can, it, this is going to be changing by the time we finish up this build. So, this video, though, like I said, we're going to focus on the, the loadout equipment, and I'm going to show you guys. So, obviously, we're not going to care about catcher's mask, chest protector, elbow guard, and all that other stuff. Just the main things that's going to really matter for your ball player and what's going to give you a huge edge and and make that guy really really good so let's start with the eyewear the eyewear isn't really i mean it's pretty good it's gonna give you fielding so if you care about the fielding the the eyewear here the encoder oakley eyewear is what you're gonna want to grab plate vision plus six discipline plus five the main thing is the plus six on the fielding there are no let's see here let's let's actually go into real quick so that way you can kind of see the prices on these on, on the equipment here as well so let's go ahead and filter out so we'll go back to the bat and see what bat you guys will need but batting gloves let's go with the batting gloves so most people are probably gonna go after like the jordan i mean i guess this is depending on what like position you have too but for the second base position it gives us a little bit more contact so we're not actually gonna go after the jordan or the Mike Trout with the six contact and five power. On my build, I actually threw on the Rawlings Workhorse Compression Batting Gloves. It gives us four contact and plus six power. So it gives us a plus one more power than the Nike Trout Elite. So that's the one we're going to throw on there for, for our build. That also gives you a plus seven plate vision. Not really a big thing anymore, in my opinion. So... But we've got the Rawlings Workhorse Compression at 21,000 stubs. For the Fielding Glove, you're going to want the SSK Z9 Maestro Fielding Glove. This gives you 12 field fielding and 8 arm strength. The fielding and the arm strength are going to be the most pop, the most important out of this whole thing. Because a couple of these don't even give you arm strength. So like, say, this 13 one right here, you're saying... You're thinking, well, this is 13 fielding. This actually doesn't give you any arm strength boost, so... That's why you're going to want to go with the SSK Z9 Maestro. 32,000 stubs. 
So you're already kind of getting to that 50k range there. So, but I'm, I'm telling you, this is going to be worth it at the end. Once your, your guy's completely built, completely maxed out. Because most of these builds, like I said, it's going to be maxed out 125 for hitting. Really good speed, really good fielding there too. So for the cleats, we went with the plus 14 speed and plus 10 steel. Plus 14 is going to be the best out there. I think the second best is plus 12, and that's the Jordan or well, plus 13, actually, and that's the Nike Air Griffey Metal. But the Audi Zero Afterburner 8 is what you're going to want to go after, and that's 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 good. Way better. Gives you pretty good reaction time, too, for your, for your guy. 14 speed is really good, plus 10 steel. We're going to skip Catcher's Mask, Chest Protector, Leg Guards. I think Leg Guards, yeah, it's not going to really matter there either, unless you're, like, making a Catcher build or something. But Elbow Guards really doesn't matter either. Do not spend your stubs. On discipline and durability do not spend 24,000 stubs on that but I mean I guess if you want to be weird and you want the best of the best go ahead but really look at this you can get five discipline five durability with the Evo shield pro SRZ 2.0 so you don't really need anything else you can spend four four K stubs instead of 25 thousand stubs there shin guards another one of those that you don't really need to spend a lot on so i would just go with the audi pro zero pro series for 2000 stubs instead of 28k save yourself some stubs right there the wrist guard this one again really does not matter don't spend 20k on a wrist guard i think i have the the 44 pro performance wrist guard on there because they're all about plus three on each side there so if you really care about a plus two discipline and plus two durability go ahead but really does not matter there. Pression sleeves, again, does not matter. Look at this, it's actually the same exact attribute boost on both of these, the 44 Pro and then the Diamond. So I don't even know why that's like that. Actually, this is a little bit better, Nike Vapor, because it gives you a plus five arm. So on this one, actually this compression sleeve, I would recommend the Nike Vapor slider sleeve two in the gold, because it does give you a plus five arm where the diamond one gives you only a plus three. So arm strength, do I even have this? I do not, I'm actually gonna buy that right now, so. Bat grips, there aren't a lot of bat grips just yet here, so we went again and went with the Mike Trout one. It's gonna be the same exact as the Mookie Bats. So really it's what you wanna, if you think the MVP Mookie Bets one looks better than the Mike Trout one. I went with the Mike Trout, I liked how that looked. But now that I'm looking at the Mookie Bets again, I'm starting to think that I messed up and should've went with the clean white there. And I think that's why there's a price difference. The Mookie Bets one looks a little bit better, but it's gonna be the exact same. So you don't really, you can just pick between the two. Eyewear, we showed you guys the eyewear that I went with right away already. It's the Oakley encoder with the 30,000 at 30,999 stubs. Gives you a big boost there for all of that. And then socks, socks, there aren't a lot of socks just yet. They're gonna be the same plus six speed and plus eight. So there's a big difference between the gold and the diamond. So you definitely wanna go with the diamond ones. I went the, with the Shohei Otani show. Showtime ones at 30,000 gives you six speed plus eight steel. And then we're gonna move on to the ritual. This one is going to be the most expensive one out of all of the things that you need to grab, but it's the one that gives you the most, basically. Plus eight power and plus eight contact. And I mean, it's by, from a, by a long shot, the best ritual that you need to grab. Um, there's one that gives you plus seven speed, plus seven steel. So if you're going for a speed or steel, but no one's really gonna be doing that. So ritual legendary call is what you're gonna wanna grab for your ritual and your final thing that you want. Oh, and I almost forgot the bat. So right now the bat, um, there's a free bat out there, but I'll show you if you, if you didn't do the pre-order. There's a pre-order Shohei Otani bat that I will show you here in a second that I have on the build. It's free. I have it on there. Gives you plus eight on power and contact. But if you don't care and you want just the contact and power, either the Victus, the Axe, anything that's going to give you a plus nine on the power there. But that's your second best bet right now if you don't have that pre-order Shohei Otani. So plus nine, plus five contact but in my opinion the Shohei Otani pre-order bat is going to be the best bat right now they're gonna drop more and more every single uh 
so whatever the content drops are going to be but this is the pre-order Shoya Tani collectors edition one right here plus eight power and plus eight contact so but that's about it ladies and gents we're gonna put our compression sleeve on actually this one's a little bit better there plus five arm so once my guy is at the diamond archetype we're gonna show you which archetype we go with there's gonna be a few that we get to choose from and i'm gonna try to find the best one because we don't know if it's gonna be the same as last year last year's build so but he should be very very good very powerful he's already good really good right now so i would say 200,000 stubs is how much you're gonna look to spend for this total loadout yes i know it is a lot of stubs but i could if you like having a ball player it is gonna be absolutely worth it couple other little things that i didn't show you guys on my on my build here my swing right now is the kyle tucker swing and it is a home run machine i love his swing he lifts the ball very easily so that's the swing I have on there right now, but I cannot wait until this card is 99 overall. We can make another video on the full build, and I can show you how to get that build once we are completely finished. So, but thank you all so much for watching today. I hope this helps out. If you are new here, make sure you leave a like on the video, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to keep asking you guys every single video, so leave a like, leave a sub, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.